Have you been experiencing a feeling of fearfulness? Thank you so much everyone who has been contacting me uh, regarding these videos and how you're feeling. Um, it seems like with each new one that I do where I'm including a feeling, I get a phone call or a text saying, Gina, I've been feeling this way. And um, so this has been coming up quite a bit, especially during the recent times, is that people are feeling fearful. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how the Great Compassion Mantra can help you with quelling that feeling of fearfulness, transforming feelings of fearfulness. Um, in Chinese medicine, we always aim towards having a balance of yin and yang. So in our bodies, the kidneys are lower in our back and our heart is higher and more towards the front. So the kidneys and the heart help to balance each other. And the kidneys and the heart are always in constant communication with each other. So one of the things that is very helpful while practicing the Great Compassion Mantra is when you visualize your kidneys. Visualize your kidneys filled with a brilliant, shining, sparkling blue light. Like the, the shining, shimmering blue color of sunshine bouncing off the ocean. Like a brilliant, deep sapphire blue or a lapis blue shining off the ocean. And in fact, the ocean is related to our kidneys in Chinese medicine. Fearfulness the, and the kidneys are part of the water element. So every organ has its element and every organ has its um, corresponding feeling. So uh, fear tends to be related to the kidneys or we say we store fear in our kidneys so how do we clean out that storage closet of fear in our kidneys whether it's from things that have happened in this life or maybe from our past lives or maybe even from our ancestors because it's actually been proven scientifically that fear can be passed down through our dna um so the kidneys are part of the water element. So when you visualize like the ocean nourishing your kidneys and that brilliant blue light shining in your kidneys, and then imagine in each of your kidneys that's filled with this beautiful blue nourishing water, a little red flame. And then you visualize your heart like a little fire. But within that fire in your heart, there's also a brilliant drop of water. You can imagine the like a little blue drop of water from your kidneys constantly there to nourish the moisture of your heart. And another thing is visualize the blue light. For example, you can imagine it coming up through the bottom of your feet, going up the kidney meridian. If you don't know where that is, it's okay. Just visualize blue light coming up through your legs and going into your kidneys, supporting your kidneys, 
washing away any fear. And then that blue light from your kidneys, imagine a little drop of it rising up to nourish your heart. And then you can imagine the red light of the heart and a little drop of the red flame going down to warm the kidneys. So you're constantly balancing your kidneys and your heart. And what are the emotions of the heart? The emotions of the heart are love and compassion. So use the great compassion mantra to nourish your kidneys. Love and compassion are the, the only things that can really help to transform our thoughts, our emotions, even our business and finances, definitely our relationships, definitely our intelligence. Love and compassion are one thing. Within compassion, there is love. Within compassion, there is understanding. When you have com understanding something that someone is going through, and then you can truly feel love for them, that's compassion. Love ultimately can transform anything in, a, in, an, in an instant. And I've seen this time and time again, like where people have been really aggressive and angry and not wanting to do things, um, even if it's to their detriment, that they don't make changes. And then one person can come in and say, I love you. How can I help you? And that, that person's anger just completely melts away and says, okay, thank you. It, it just completely transforms the whole being. So let us sing the great compassion mantra on our day 15 and nourish our kidneys with love, with compassion, and completely transform any feelings of fearfulness. I'm not saying this is something that is going to happen overnight, especially if you have noticed this trend of fearfulness throughout your life. It will take some work, but with the work that you do, the effort you put in, you'll receive 10, 100, 1,000 times more support. So just keep putting in the effort and really feeling how loved we are. We are so loved. We are so loved. And in our human way, we just, I think also as maybe a part of our society, we've been kind of discouraged from feeling worthy of being loved. And so we need to change that feeling. And so loving ourselves, loving one another, and just radiating a feeling of love can help the person next to you. Okay, so aloha kako, ciao tutti, hello everyone. If you're new to this channel, my name is Gina Musetti. I am a master teacher of the Tao Academy, as well as a professional licensed acupuncturist in the state of Hawaii. I have been a practitioner of oriental medicine for over 20 years and a practitioner within the Tao Academy for over 10 years and a, pa a master teacher now for over five years. Um, oh, six maybe. I think it may might be, no, five, five and a half. <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining me. Um, I would like to begin just quickly. We'll go over some of the new names and then we'll go back and chant the entire mantra. So if you don't have this mantra, you can download it at drshaw.com and there's a simple page that has the names of all the 87 Buddhas 
And so let, let's visualize and say hello. So for today's purposes, you know, even if you think you don't have any fear, it's good to continue to support your kidneys and to support that light because actually the kidneys are the foundation of our heart. You know how I was saying earlier, we have yin and yang. So the kidneys are the yin support for the heart. If your kidneys start to lose function, your heart could start having issues. So even though you think, oh, I don't have any fear, or I don't have any kidney issues, still, we always need to continue to nourish our kidneys and keep our kidneys healthy and, and really strong because our, our kidneys do so much more than, you know, they're not just simple filters. There's a lot more to it, which we can go into more later. Um, if we do, for example, maybe a five elements series or something. Okay, so let us visualize the beautiful blue light of the ocean. We'll call in the light of the ocean, dear soul, mind and body of the ocean light, the ocean cleansing, the blue color of the ocean, the strength of the ocean, the power of the ocean. We love you, honor you and appreciate you. Please come to fulfill our kidney energy to keep us buoyant and grounded and filled with strength to support our transformation, to transform our fears into compassion and love. And dear the soul of our heart and kidneys, you have the power to bring love and compassion to all aspects of our lives and our being. Do a great job. Thank you. And dear beloved Guan Yin and all of the 87 Buddhas of the Da Bei Zhou, we love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please join us. Please help us to nourish our kidneys, to dispel fear, to transform any negative information into positive love and compassion. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let us begin with Buddha number 64, where we left off in episode 14. She la sung wo mu chie ye. And then uh, we'll move on from there. And I want to just point out a couple of things that could be helpful. Okay, so Buddha number 64. She la sung wo mu chie ye. She la sung wo mu chie ye. She la sung wo mu chie ye. And you can imagine that flow of the blue light up to your heart and the red light down to your kidneys. So I don't know if you've ever seen like a yin yang symbol that's red and blue. And then in, in the blue section, there's a little dot of red. And in the red section, there's a little dot of blue. It's, you can also visualize something like that. Buddha number 65. So po -ho. Okay. And Buddha number 66. So what I wanted to point out is Buddha number 66, Buddha number 68, and Buddha number 70. The second part of their name is all the same. So the second part of their name, Shi Tuoye. Okay, so it's a little bit easier. So Buddha number 66, her name is Sopo Hu Wo Shi Tuoye. He or she, I'm, I'm not sure, but he, so po, so po mo hu, sorry, so po mo hu wo shi tuo ye. So I'll spell that in case you don't have the names. Buddha number 66. So, S O po, P O, mo, M O, hu, H U, wo, W O, shi, X I, tuo, T U O Ye Y E. Okay. So Po Mo Hu Wo Shi Tuo Ye. Buddha number 68. So Po Mo Hu Wo Shi Tuo Ye. 
And then Buddha number 67 is Sopohu, another Sopohu. Buddha number 68, Zhe Ji La Wo Shi Tuo Ye. Buddha number 68, Zhe, Z-H-E, G, J-I, La, L-I, L-A, Wo, W-O, Shi, X-I, Tuo, T-U-O, Ye, Y-E, Zhe, G, La, Wo, Shi, Tuo, Ye. And then Buddha number 69 is another Buddha called Sopohu. And then Buddha number 70 is Bo To Mo Jie Shi Tuo Ye. Bo To Mo Jie Shi Tuo Ye. Bo To Mo Jie Shi Tuo Ye. Okay. So let's go ahead and we will preview these Buddha's names number 64 through 70. She la sung wo mu che ye so po hu so po mo hu wo shi to ye so po hu cha chi la wo shi tuo ye so po hu bo to mo jie shi tuo ye okay so let's do that two more times buddha's number 64 through 70 Shi la sun wo mu che ye so po hu so po mo hu wo shi to ye so po hu bo Bo to mo che shi tuo ye. Okay, so it's a little challenging doing the visualization and learning the names at the same time, but if you can, try to, okay? And one more time. Shi la sung wo mo che ye. So po hu so po mo wo shi tuo ye so po hu zhe ji la wo shi tuo ye so po hu bo to mo jie shi tuo ye okay and then um I'm not quite a hundred percent sure that I'm singing it exactly the way that Master Shaw sings it on the actual CD. Um, I learned this initially from Master Shaw in 2011 when we were doing it by teleconference. So we were on the phone with him every day learning just like this and that's how I learned and that's how I remember. So if the rec if I'm not doing it exactly according to the recording, I apologize. I'm just doing it according to how I learned it initially. Um, so either way is 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 fine. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, yes, we have just enough time. I think if I can sing quickly, and we'll go through the whole mantra. Okay, so. And if you're having trouble doing too much of the visualization and the words and everything, another thing I'll just quickly mention, I just remembered, I, I also have recordings on my SoundCloud. So if you go to soundcloud.com and then search for my name, Master Gina Muzetti, um, there are recordings for like fire and water um, based on Dr. Rulin's book, um, Soul Mind Body Science. 
and um, so you can find those in SoundCloud. Those are also extremely helpful for these feelings of fearfulness. Okay, let's continue. But if you're having trouble, just, just focus on imagining blue light in your kidneys and the little fire, okay? And don't worry about the words. I'll sing. You just receive, okay? I love you all. Chan Shou Chan Yan Wu Aida Beshin To Loni Chan Shou Chan Yan Wu Aida Beshin To Loni Chan Shou Chan Yan Wu Aida Beshin To Loni Nan Mo La Da Nu Do La Ye Ye Nan Mo Ye Ye Bo Lo Che Di So Ben La Ye So Oh Sorry now I'm 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 stuck on the sopo who so I went back there. Let me let me begin again with Buddha number one. Nan mo la da nu do la ye ye nan mo wo le ye bo lo che di so ben la ye pu ti sa do po ye. Mohu sado po ye, mohu jaluni jaye. An saben la fai, suda nuda sha nan mo shi jeli do imang wo le ye. Bolo chedi Shurfo la lang topo Nan monu la jin Shili mo bendo sami Sa po wo do shu pang wo Shiryun Sapo Sado Nan Mo Po Sado Nan Mo Po Che Mo Fa Tu Do Da Chi To An Wo Po Lu Shi Lu Jia Di Jia Lo Di I Shi Li Mo Hu Pu Ti Sa Do Sa Po Sa Po Mo La Mo La Mo shi mo shi li to yun Ju lu ju lu ji e mang Du lu du lu fa sa ye di Mo hu fa sa ye di To lo to lo sa li ni Shi Fa sha fa shang fo la sha ye hu lu hu lu mo wu la hu lu hu lu shi li so la 
sola shili shili sulu sulu putie putie putoye putoye mi tili ya nu la jin che sai li sani nu poye mo nu so po hu shi to ye so po hu mo hu shi to ye so po hu shi to yi yi so ben la ye so po nu la jin che so po mo la nu la so po shi la sang wo mu che ye so po so po mo wo shi to ye so po zhe qi la wo shi to ye so po bo to mo zhe shi to ye so po nu la jin che ben che la ye so po hu mo po li shang ji la ye so po hu bo i got lost my place uh Buddha number seventy four Mo Poly Shangchi So Po so po hu ahan shi dian du hu mahan du la ben to hu ye so po hu Jin gang sheng zhuan yan so po hu Sheng wen sheng zhuan yan so po hu Mo ho jie sheng zhuan yan so po hu An po hu zhe la Shi lie she so po hu how 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 thank you thank you thank you love you love you love you to all the souls that have joined with us we love you honor you and appreciate you please respectfully return gong song gong song gong song so okay so thank you everyone for joining me for today's uh video and we will um go over um buddhist number 64 through 70 more thoroughly uh, tomorrow. So thank you everyone for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and please share so that more people can learn how to balance their emotions, how to strengthen their hearts and souls, how to nourish their physical bodies, their spiritual bodies, and more. I love you all, and I will see you tomorrow. Adomani. Ahoi ho. Ciao, ciao.